Dear friends, welcome to the Redemptress Media Center and to our new podcast series, Redemptress Homilies on the Go, a series of reflections on the Word of God, led by Redemptress missionaries. In 1865, Pope Pius IX handed over the original icon of our Mother of Perpetual Help to the Redemptress with the mandate to make her known to the whole world, the whole world, ever since, wherever in the world Redemptress may be, they promote a lively devotion to the Mother of the Lord Jesus through the Novena devotion to our Mother of Perpetual Help. This is a series of sermons on a wide variety of topics preached by Redemptress missionaries during the Saturday devotion to our Mother of Perpetual Help at the Redemptress Media Center, India. Everyone longs to be better than one is. Everyone likes to climb up the ladder of success economically, intellectually, socially, and even spiritually. Yet what does it look like to become better in God's sight, just like Mary, our mother? Listen more in this inspiring reflection. This homily was preached by Reverend Father Christopher Pratap CSSR on 25th July during the Novena to a Mother of Perpetual Health. Listen in even as you go about your daily activities and be transformed by the word of life. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 1, verses 26 to 30. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. The Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to your Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers, and dear sisters in Jesus Christ. There is a longing in us to become better, better than what we are. And we desire to go up in the ladder economically, intellectually, socially, and even spiritually. We desire to be better. And none of us consciously make any effort to see the downfall of our own life. On the contrary, we make a lot of choices to do better, greater and powerful in our life. At the 40th UN General Assembly, this is how Mother Teresa of Calcutta was introduced by its General Secretary. He said, I present to you the most powerful woman on earth. My dear brothers and dear sisters, her powerfulness or her greatness did not come because of her intellectual ability, not because of her physical appearances. Instead, she came to be called as the most powerful woman on earth because of her service to the humanity, where she became the loving face of God to those destitutes and to those who were abandoned on the street. Human beings want 
upward growth to become better and better in life. How do we achieve this in our day-to-day -day lives? Today, the understanding of becoming better, powerful, greater, is being motivated or colored by compromise, exploitation. Somehow, I want to be greater, powerful, and better in my life. No matter how I achieve that, it could be of exploiting the ignorance of someone to be better, greater and powerful. Or compromise with the values and the convictions that we are being brought up. Because I want to be better greater and powerful in my life. My dear brothers and dear sisters, the greatness of Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, lies in her humility. In his book, The Glories of Mary, St. Alphonsus showed that humility was a virtue that lay at the foundation of Mary's life. Mary knew her humble state even before she was called by God to bear his only son. Even after becoming the mother of the Son of God, she still continued to be humble in the sight of God. As St. Alphonsus states that Mary was truly humble because she gave all the glory to God for everything that happened in her life. In other words, she was totally in union with God. She knew it is in God that she is powerful. Apart from God, she is nothing. Her humble state, being union with God, brought exaltation in her life. Secondly, St. Alphonsus says, it is also part of our humility to serve others. She was given the great privilege of any human beings on earth to be the mother of God. And yet, Mary went with haste to the hill country of Judea, forgetting about herself and travels to another town to bring joy to her cousin Elizabeth. Mary in her humility was able to be in union with God. She was able to enjoy a deep relationship with God. Mary in her humility was able to serve her cousin and bring joy in the lives of Elizabeth. What about the devotees of our Mother of Perpetual Health? How do we see our relationship with God and with one another? Are we able to be in union with God as Mary did in her humble state? Today, I want to bring to you uh, two challenges, how we can become better in relationship with God and with one another by following the virtue of humility. At first, to let go of our intellectual pride. To say that what I am saying is right, 
I have an answer to everything. I know better than you. These are the conflicts that happens in our day-to-day -day lives where we begin to degrade one another in relationship because of our intellectual pride. In other words, justifying, I am right always. Mary invites us to let go of this pride so that we can be in communion with God and we can be in communion with one another. And secondly, we are invited to reach out the one who is in need with a grateful heart. My dear brothers and dear sisters, what we are today is not just because of our own mere efforts, but there are many people who have been involved, who have contributed, who have sacrificed their lives. Can we turn with a grateful heart like Mary in reaching out to someone who is in need? Thus, we may renew the relationship. Thus, we may start a fresh relationship with God and with one another. As we pray this novena, once again, Mary, our mother, intercedes for us to be in union with God and with one another as she did. May we surrender that we may also be like Mary in our day-to-day -day lives. Amen. We do hope you enjoyed this podcast. Catch our other Redemptors homilies on the go either on our RMC YouTube channel or from wherever you listen to podcasts. God bless you all mightily.